We're gonna just make a black tail fat candle. What we need is some fat off the deer, uh, something to heat it with, and then something to strain it with. We're just gonna use a coffee filter, and then a candle mold and a wick. Look at this buck. It's definitely what people call a cactus buck. I'm gonna take all the fat back with us and then I'm gonna render it down and we're gonna make a little something special. Now it's time to render and strain the buck fat. Rendering is the act of slowly cooking fat into a liquid. You wanna think low and slow. I'm gradually introducing heat and constantly stirring to make sure the fat does not burn. Another great method for this is to use a crock pot on the low setting. Next we'll strain the liquid from the solid. This can be done with a fine strainer, cheesecloth, or in my case, coffee filters. Now we've rendered our fat and you can see where it starts to cool down, it just looks like wax. Um, I've got a candle mold here and I'm just going to put a wick in it uh, and then we're going to pour our wax into our candle. set it out on the deck to cool and we should have it here pretty short. All right, so we've got our candle, it's hardened. I'm just gonna take the top off and then pop it out of the mold. Hopefully it didn't stick. There we have it, a deer fat candle. I'm making a little bit of toast with our last bagel here. And actually that deer fat, as it melts down because it's rendered, it shouldn't be as tallowy as normal. So we're gonna try it as it runs onto the plate, use it as like a dipping sauce. You can put some herbs or some uh, balsamic vinaigrette, but it's a really good little appetizer for your bread. Kind of like having butter or oil.